and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft and today we're back on the server and we're at my house for a little bit because I feel like I haven't been up here for a little while in the in the videos and I haven't really come up here much anyway because I don't really have much stored over here even though I actually have like storage and things but you know it's just kind of a little area that I pop to now and then but I haven't really been building anything in here I still don't have any animals because I never really got around to bringing them back over because when we updated they disappeared and then I thought you know what I don't really need them right now so I'll leave them and I haven't really finished the sheep pen over there but today I'm planning on doing a few different things and actually yeah I saw him on the world tour if you were at that then uh let me know what you thought of that because that was really fun but look dude you're down here you're hiding um uh, this is this is from a uh a video a while back where I went over to the horse track and I was doing lots of things with that. This is the horse I took over there and then I couldn't find because he was wandering around but then I'm pretty sure there was another one. The white white one I think. Uh, the white horse um, may or may not have gone to Spawn Wax house which is if you've watched his videos you will know that there is in fact a horse over there that is now his I'm, I'm guessing but I think that was just one of the random spawn houses. Uh, horses I should say. And uh, today I don't really have any plans in particular, I'd really like to not work on the lab this episode just because I felt a little bit kind of, I don't know, I felt like I couldn't, you know, continue with that every single episode. Oh my god, the, the place is so laggy, it's ridiculous, but uh, as you can see, I, Jevon's uh, place uh, burnt down a little bit, so uh, there isn't really anything here anymore. He actually does have some stuff here, but I don't think it has a price on it. Meets Unlimited coming soon. Okay, fair enough, he's actually doing something else. But anyway, today we're going to start this episode and I feel like I want to do a little bit of a prank. So I think we're actually going to get started. We're going to get some stuff together, some materials together. And I'm not 100% sure who I'm going to prank just yet, but I'm going to, you know, eeny, meeny, miny, mo and pick someone. And uh, we're just going to head to their base and probably just start pranking straight away, because why the hell not? Okay, so as you may be able to tell, I am at Azuma's base right here. I haven't even told him that I'm doing this. Sometimes it's nice to tell people, but I feel like being a little bit risky today. Now, no one is on. It's about uh, nearly midday in the UK, which is, you know, the time that Azuma can be on. You know, he's, in, he's on during the day usually, but I've got a feeling I want to go over here and set up a bed because it's night time and... This is probably a bit risky doing this, but I can probably make a little bed just just here somewhere. Uh, let's just uh, clear out a little area here and make a bed. Uh, I think that'll be cool, and he won't mind uh, me just setting up a quick bed here. I can move it at some point. It's not really going to change the look of his base at all. But I think if I had to set up a base here, just a little bed, um, I'm going to have to block in the light because... I don't want him to see if he does log on. I can always crouch down here in the safety of this very, very small room. Um, let's put that there for now. And we should be able to sleep. Yeah, okay, so no one's on. So we are basically going to be building a few things down here in the wasteland area. Um, there isn't any particular um, area I would like to build in. But I've got a feeling that it might be nice to utilise these beacons. Which is obviously put some uh, black glass on which look very, very funky and cool, but I don't know, I feel like I need to build on top of these, maybe build four of them um, around his base. Now, originally I was going to build loads and loads of little ones scattered around the sky, but, uh, hmm, since he's got four, I think he's got, actually got more of them, but they're too far away for me to, have, to be able to see, and, you know, I think it's just going to be a waste of time because we're, we're too far away, but I think if I build four around his base here, which looks amazing right now, I don't know why my clouds are on, I don't know why that happens. It keeps happening. It's happening the same as what happened with Zuma. He had the same issue where it just kept the clouds kept turning on. I don't know why that is, but I'm gonna have to maybe find out from him at some point. But anyway, these keep disappearing. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build four UFOs, uh, which, if you don't know, it is an unidentified flying object uh, in the sky around his base. 
I may put them all on the same level, but I may actually do them all at different levels. And I'm basically just praying that he doesn't log on during this to kind of ruin the prank. I think it actually might be quite funny, because uh, I feel like when he's on the server, he's usually down below. I'm not quite sure where he is at the moment, like, you know, where he disconnected. Maybe at the Ocean Monument, which won't be an issue, because that's a little bit farther away. But anyway, we're basically going to start building here. I'm probably going to go grab some dirt or something. Pillar up to a nice height and just start building a massive UFO because why the hell not? Okay, so I have done one of these and it doesn't look as good as I thought it might or it did in creative. The design changed up a little bit um, and I didn't really kind of think about these things. Uh, they actually go through the top. I don't think there's any way of stopping that, which kind of sucks. Uh, because, you know, UFOs don't really have a beam going both up and down. I don't think any UFOs, like famous UFOs from movies and things, have them both going out the top of the spaceship and at the bottom. But I kind of want to get up there and take a look anyway, just to take a look at it and have a, have a see if it does look any good or not. I think we'll have to probably end Pearl up here. Um, he has the most awkward elevator things ever okay so i did this at level the bottom block there is at level 100 this is probably a little bit lower probably about 90 and this one up here is a lot higher i think i can just about reach it yes i can awesome and uh from up here it it doesn't look as big as i thought it might um i kind of uh hmm let's uh let's just say it didn't look it doesn't look as grand as i thought it might which kind of sucks a bit. Um, Zuma's base kind of swamps it a little bit, which makes it not really the best prank ever. But uh, I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool still. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe on the diagonal over on this one, which is this one black as well? A black beam? Yeah, it is. Uh, it just looks kind of grey because of the sunset and orange. Um, I think uh, I might do a bigger one, a bigger spaceship that's even higher up, so maybe I'll do it about that level there, um, so it's higher than this, so you don't see the top of it, because that, that, that's kind of what ruins it from up here, but I think once you drop down, um, let's drop down here, uh, that's so freaky, I hate doing that, oh god, I, just, I wonder what the hell that was then for a second, I forgot we were on 1.8, the endermites are back, but anyway, yeah, that is kind of what it looks like from here, and this level, it doesn't look too bad, so I think if I do an even bigger spaceship, up here in that will be uh, above that then when Azuma comes back to his base which I'm guessing he will do since he's probably sort of somewhere else doing stuff um, it'll look pretty pretty cool I hope uh, and also there'll be a final touch to add at the end when I have done all of the all of the spaceships in fact actually I might actually start on this one kind of soon maybe I could get a mob no, I don't think I'll get a mob. I'll actually go to sleep and then we shall uh, come back and I'll show you what little touch I'm going to be adding. Um, I've just come down to the bottom of Azuma's base to see if he had any, any eggs. And uh, I've actually come up with a better idea. But anyway, what what are these guys doing? I don't even know. Crazy baby pigmen. Having a party. Okay, so my plan is to grab these guys here. Yes, I know. Hang on. Uh, bear with me a second. This prank is uh, probably not the best fallout thing I've ever done. Um, but I think it'll be kind of cool if it if it works and Azuma doesn't come on for like the next 10 hours or so. <laughs> um, but I'm going to get these pigs. Oh, one of the leads broke. Dude, what are you doing? You have to come with me and we have to like have a party and stuff. You have to come with me. I'm trying to get four pigs across the desert um, to a little staircase down there that actually goes into the skeleton farm, which is a portal very, very, very close to Azuma's base. This is actually on the edge of the wastelands. Um, and let me try and find the thing. I think it's there. Uh, come on, guys. Um, uh, Porkins, Porkins 1, Porkins 2, Porkins 3 and 4. Um, they all, they're all coming down here with me. But uh, that, that is his base over there. I'm not, the, I'm not the right side to see the actual spaceship, but... Are you guys with me? Okay, come on then. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this is going to work, getting all four of them down a staircase. But, oh, apparently, apparently it does. Awesome. So all I need to do is get these guys through the nether into uh, Azuma's portal. And I'm sure nothing is going to go wrong with this. Nothing at all. Um, just need to get these guys through the portal now, which uh, is actually easier than I thought. 
Okay, we're through the portal and they've all survived the journey, which was a little bit bumpy. But we are all here. That is the skeleton portal there. And I think I've got all four of them. I should do. I don't think I've got you. Come on then. Right, and this is Azuma's actual base portal. So we've got some ice here, which is quite fun. I can just drag this guy along. He's like skiing. And I think if we head in here, we should be ready to go. Um, let's just say I didn't actually think this bit through. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it, it looks like this is probably going to be my option. Um, come on, piggy. You're, uh, you're going for a ride down here. This is probably more entertaining than the actual prank itself. Um, bye. See you later. Is he... Pigs can swim, apparently. Um... Well, that's a first. I think the other guys have all uh, actually left through the portal again. Or maybe they have died and uh, made some bacon. But anyway, what we're going to do is head these guys down over by where the spaceship is over there, I think, the small one. And uh, we should be good to go. Oh! No! Porkins! That, um... Yeah, let's, let's just say that didn't um, work to plan. Yeah. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. Okay, so I've built the massive... Uh, okay, that looks really bad. <laughs> I think it's going to look better from over there. It's not really meant to be seen from underneath. I think it looks better at an angle. But anyway, as you can see, this is the, the other part of my plan. Which will probably fail as well completely. But you know what? We're going to give it a go anyway. I have turned the... Uh, the things off for now, the beacons, because um, I don't really need them. But I'll make some holes up here so that they can actually go through this one as well. And we've got this little guy pretty much to the top. This takes a little bit more than the dirt that I have, but I'll just use some stone some stone bricks. That'll be fine. Also, I left my water over there still, so I need to go and collect that at some point. No one's on yet, though, so we should be good. Did that work? Go! Get on the fence! Do I need another fence? Hello? Wait a second. Done. Done? Done, done, done. The chicken isn't getting attached to the fence. What a nightmare. You're kidding me that this isn't working. Is it because my right click's working? My, my right click's working fine. Do I need to be here? Hello? Um, down again? D d does this does this even make a difference? I'm not even sure, but I th I'm pretty sure this should be working. Okay, now the chicken's dying. Brilliant! Okay, well, apparently I it attached now to the fence. I don't know, we're using 1.8 and I... Ah, <sighs> everybody sigh together. One, two, three. <sighs> Okay, well, that just... no. This is... <laughs> Azuma, I'm sorry. This, this was my plan. My plan was to attach chickens and pigs and things to the to the, these things. But for whatever reason, maybe it's a glitch. Maybe it's just me being a complete idiot. But it's not working. So I don't know. Just imagine there's some like invisible animal there or something. Um, but I don't know why. I don't know why it's not working, but I'm gonna add some glass to these here and they should be coming through at some point in the near future. Anybody? Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> they heard me. Um, they're ganging up on me. Um, but yeah, we should be able to just put these in here. Yeah, I mean, they don't need to be black, but you know, that's what I've got, so black glass will do. And I don't know whether or not this is even the <laughs> like a good prank or not, so let me know. I could have probably done a lot better. I'm pretty sure that looks really ugly, but I think and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there, take a look at it from up there again at both of them, and then maybe I'll decide whether or not I want to add a load more of them, maybe I want to improve them, or what I want to do next uh, before Azuma comes online. And uh, we'll just, you know, this is an experiment. Not all pranks go exactly to plan, um, even though I had actually tried a lot of these things out. We seem to have a baby zombie somewhere. Which is freaking me out a little bit. Um, maybe I can get him up there. Oh, that would be amazing. Baby zombie? Where are you, dude? I really want to get you up. Oh, hello. You've got an egg, haven't you? From that, that chicken that I may have killed. Uh, does, does a lead work on one? I don't think it does, actually. 
But there seems to be another one. I don't know. Hello? Uh, oh, hello. Hello, friend. Um, I don't know why. You don't want to take a lead, do you? No, he doesn't want to lead. He's really angry. Um, let's just uh, head up there, take a look, and uh, let me kill these guys, because the poor things are just stuck. Stuck there. Okay, so bearing in mind it is daytime and my video settings are kind of low. That's, oh, wow. Okay, that le <laughs> this looks crazy. Um, it's just about loading in okay, and I'm not lagging too much. I've got 40 frames per second, not too bad for me. But anyway, there is the bigger one, which doesn't look that much bigger, to be honest. But if you go look at this one, this one's a little baby. So you've got that one there, that one there, and they are kind of looking pretty cool. They look like they're, they're taking over his base a little bit, like a swarm of UFOs. I think it would look kind of cool if I were to add a few more dotted around, maybe add some different coloured ones as well. Although using iron makes it a lot easier because there's, you know, an infinite amount of it. And also, it just looks like a spaceship. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I will make some more. Just so that the prank is a little less naff <laughs> and uh, will work a little bit more. I really want to try water coming down from them since the chickens and things didn't work. That was my kind of backup plan. But I haven't tried it yet, so maybe I'll go over to the smaller one over here just because it's a bit quicker to get up to. And uh, we'll we'll see if that works with the beacons. I've got a feeling that it doesn't. That's my chest over there, by the way, if you're wondering. I need to move that. If I put this here, the, the beacons still work. Okay, so this is good. So this, this is a good sign. Maybe if we put it back up here and put some water down, maybe, instead of the fence posts, we'll... We'll see how that works. I think that'll be a good little idea. Okay, so I think the wall looks kind of cool. That's only a little bit of water. Maybe for this one, I'll make the wall to actually cover the whole of the beacons. Um, it does actually, the beacon does still come through it, which I like. Um, and I think I'll just add that, but a bigger version on this side. And then I think that'll kind of, it'll also go really well with his colour scheme. Because he's got a lot of blue going on up here and there. And then also uh, the blue around around his little little uh, sand temple thing. Um, so I think that'll look kind of cool as a nice little addition. So I think what we're going to do is actually just probably just head over there and uh, give that a go. Okay, so since it's a prank, I decided to put some signs somewhere. And I thought I would explain it here. You seem to have a lot of space here. So I thought I'd bring you some friends over to stay. They're out of this world because I'm very punny. Um, and uh, I just decided to put random jokes everywhere because I don't know because it's a, a bit of a lame prank So I thought I'd put some lame jokes everywhere. So what did the alien say to the cat? Take me to your litter um, Why did the cow go to outer space to visit the Milky Way? Yeah, really bad jokes. There are also a few more of those down here uh, four more jokes down here, which I won't read. Uh, Azuma can show them in his video if he would like. But what I'm going to do is actually just hang around here for a bit longer. I'm actually going to put a few more little tiny UFOs dotted around just to make it a little bit more of a kind of a, a big clear up. Um, well, it's not going to be that much of a clear up because they're not that hard to get to, especially since I've added the water. But uh, I think I'm going to do that for a while, I spend a bit of time here. And because I've got the signs up already, it means if the zoomer does log on, I can just log off straight away or, you know, just hide somewhere or whatever. And, it, you know, the prank will already, you know, be in place. So that's what I'm going to do. Spend a few time, a few minutes just doing that. Although I say a few minutes, it'll probably take a few hours or so. It's already taken a, a little while longer than I expected. But we're going to do that. We're going to add some more of them around. And then we should be done with the prank. So we're now back up the top here by the signs. And I've added a few little baby ones. Um, which look kind of cute. I like the fact that... Um, I don't know, they look really cute over there. It's too loud. And there are two over this side as well. And I think they look pretty cool. Uh, there's that one there and there's this one here. You can actually pretty jump to that one. That's quite, quite close. I didn't realise how close it was. But uh, that is pretty much it for the prank. I would add a load more because... But you know, it's, it's just it's just me doing this prank. I was going to get someone else involved. But then I thought the prank isn't good enough really for anyone else to get involved. And I thought, 
you know what, I just feel like, you know, spending a little bit of time today doing something that isn't in the lab, because that's kind of why I didn't want to make another video on vanilla. I kind of got really into the mod source, which I still am. I'm going to take a screenshot, that looks pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty much it. So Azuma, if you need some help clearing up, feel free to just, you know, let me know and I'll head over and help you with it. But I think this is kind of cool. It isn't maybe as cool as it could look, but again, you know, don't have enough time to spend all that much time on it but you know for a little prank it, it kind of turned into quite a big prank you know it does span quite a large area but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little prank let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what else you think i could have done or could have added maybe i'll make another second part of the prank uh with some different things that could be, could be kind of cool but uh yeah this is pretty much it from me at azuma's base i'm gonna head back to the portal now and uh, I think I, I may, no, did I leave anything? I think I got it all with me. Have I got my bed? No, I don't have my bed. That's somewhere down by one of these. So I better clear that up and make sure there isn't any kind of evidence left, even though I have signed my name over there. But anyway, we'll head down here at night time, which probably isn't the best idea. Try not to die, which could happen very easily. Um, and uh, we'll head back to my base and uh, kind of reflect on it.